Guam Memorial Hospital Chief Financial Officer Alan Ulrich tendered his resignation. His last day on the job is next Friday, October 31st. And with the announcement made by Chief Financial Officer Alan Ulrich of his resignation from the Guam Memorial Hospital, DOA's Director Benita Mangluetnia will be filling in as the acting CFO. The hospital's administrator, Joseph Verga, hopes that with her joining his team, the two agencies will be able to work stronger and more efficiently together. It was exactly two weeks ago when Governor Eddie Cavill announced that he was sending Mangluetnia to the hospital to help solve of the agency's financial problems. It was before I even knew that Alan uh, was leaving us that I really approached uh, Benita and the governor, the governor about having Benita join us, you know, te even temporarily to help us out. So this has been um, something that I have planned even before knowing Alan was leaving to help GMH develop a much closer coordinated relationship. Verga says the hospital's cash flow is very dependent on three agencies, GMH, Public Health, and Department of Administration. Part of the reason I asked initially Benita to come here with her knowledge of government to help the three different age, separate agencies come closer and become more integrated. So that certainly is one of the main uh, things that she'll be, she'll be dealing with because it'll bring certainly cash flow to the hospital much quicker and then also avoid billing delays and also avoid the discrepancies in the billing delays. Ulrich is working closely with Manglonia to ensure that progress that he has made, which includes physical solvency, reducing a number of compliance matters raised in audits, and upgrading the hospital's process systems and financial areas continue after he leaves. There's a lot of um, process improvements that's, that's ongoing that needs to be continued. There's also a lot of reconciliation efforts that, that, that must be uh, started or has started already and we need to move that forward with between the different agencies. Uh, there is currently a system conversion. I have to ensure that that one is successful. Menglonia says that at this time she is also conducting an assessment and has ideas of what needs to be done in order for the hospital to be successful. She officially takes over as interim CFO on November 1st. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.